Hey guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5! Oh my goodness! I can't believe it's Day 5. It's almost been a week of vlogging for Vlogmas. Um, I literally just rolled out of bed, like, literally less than, like, two minutes ago. Got up. I literally just went pee. Made coffee. Coffee! And now I'm sitting here. So, I'm sorry if I'm groggy. But I literally just woke up. <sighs> uh, um, it is 8 o'clock. I got up. Uh, I mean, it's not that early for me. But I got up a little bit early this morning um, before my noon o'clock class tonight. Or today. Um, I wish I could have slept in because we really didn't get home until like midnight and I didn't go to bed till like 1 yesterday because of Wicked but I had to get up early because I needed to finish my French test hold on ah, my arm um I needed to finish my French test this morning because I didn't have time to do it uh yesterday I was able to get my review done but I couldn't get my test done we had like a take home test it's kind of actually really long. It's eight pages. But, like, here's the thing. Is she said, like, we can use whatever we want. It's open books. She's like, use whatever you want. You can ask for help. Um, books. No Notes. She's like, working groups. So, I'm going to use Google. Like, is that cheating? I don't really know. Like, I'm literally about to use Google Translator. Like, and I'm confused. Like, isn't that what everyone else is going to do? Is that cheating? I really don't know. But that's what I'm going to do. Um, the only thing with Google Translator is like sometimes it doesn't translate like the basic way that you learn like in French class. Like because you learn like the most basic like way it's translated and sometimes it will translate it like in a different way. But the stuff in here is just like so basic. It's literally it's French 101 that google translator cannot like mess up it's literally like how do you translate cat or like pumpkin you know so it's not like hard things yet um owen is super cuddly in the morning so he's gonna like want to play with me so much and i love him he's so cute don't you dare owen this is an ongoing problem here because our like dining room table okay this is our dining room table um, kitchen right there, living room space. The dining room table has basically become my, like, desk area, if you can't tell. Like, lots of, uh, Kelsey stuff. Um, because I don't have another space to do it. And because it's just me and Trey, we usually eat at the coffee table anyways for dinner. And we're both on such different schedules that we rarely eat dinner, like, together. Like, it never really happens. Um... So, the coffee table has become my space, which sucks because I leave, like, my pens and my pencils out. And this little shit ball always gets them. And they just disappear. Like, where do you put them, Owen? Where do you put them? Where? 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 Doo -doo -doo. You don't see anything over there. Stop. There's nothing. There's nothing over there. You're so dumb. Stop doing that. That freaks me out. You see nothing. Hey guys. So, um, getting ready to leave for class in a little bit. And, like, I feel like I should just show you guys. Like, this is literally what I'm wearing. I know, like, I look like a hot mess, but... I am so real like this is straight college student outfit right here and I look better than like most students like let's be honest if you go to college like girls show up wearing like their pajamas um so I'm not showering right now because we are going to a Christmas party tonight I'll explain that later but right now um I'll just quickly show you what I'm wearing because this is like serious like student outfit like, because I don't even have time. Um, 
my hair looks like a mess like it's so gross so i'm just gonna wear a beanie over it then i'm wearing like you know victoria's secret pink sweatshirt classic um these are like what i like to call my mom jeans they're not like super super skinny they're just like kind of they're like boot cut basically and then my converse like <laughs> But let's be real, like, ain't nobody got time for that because um, I had to take my test, or did my test this morning, so I really ran out of time. And then, yeah, like, killing it with that no makeup, like, holla. <laughs> um, but that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Like, I don't have time. And I only have one class, and then I don't work today. So, and then we're going to, like, a Christmas dinner party. So, no point in me getting ready. I'm just about to get ready for the Christmas dinner, and it's just French, so... Sorry, not sorry. I'm back home and my hair is on top of my head. Just made some, uh, I guess it's lunch. I it was starving. Tomato soup, ugh. Like some tomato soup still stuck to the spoon, gross. Tomato soup and grilled cheese. Except I kind of burnt mine and I've eaten, I've eaten, I've eaten a lot of it. But whoopsies, Try is home. <laughs> he made the perfect grilled cheese. I didn't. Mm -mm. Perfect. My battery's going on that. Um, you guys, I never talked about this. We got a coffee pot. We have a Keurig, but we also wanted like a regular coffee pot. Like we've been wanting one for a while. And on Black Friday, we went to <coughs> Sears to buy appliances for our new home. And like we needed a washer, dryer, and a fridge. And not only did we get a freaking good deal on those appliances, but like they had a rewards point card thing. So we signed up for that and then like got a bunch of points because we made like some big purchases. And we were able to get that. And then that coffee maker was on sale. What was the price it normally was? Like 40. 40 and it was on sale for 16 or something or 18. And like with our points, we only paid $2. We literally only paid $2 for that coffee maker. And so it was pretty awesome because... I'd really been wanting one because, I mean, we have a Keurig, but my mom sent me Big B coffee like a while ago. And we do have a thing that you can make your own like one cup of your own like coffee, but it's so annoying and like um, hard to use. Trey wants me to show you what he's making. That one has meat in it. Ooh. Yep, there goes bread, cheese, meat, cheese, bread. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I wanted to drink some Big B coffee, so now I'm so excited, but we're leaving it in that box until we move, because we move in next week, so, right, next week? Yeah, Yeah, so there's no point in us like taking that out or anything. Um, but I am so excited to have Big B coffee. I've talked about Big B coffee. Big B coffee is like, I don't know if it's, it's, it's based out of Michigan and I'm pretty sure like the only other states that have it is maybe like the tip of Indiana and Ohio and a, and a little bit in Illinois. I know there's some, there's one in Chicago cause I, I've been there, um, and gotten some Big B, but I don't think like it's like South Indiana or Ohio. Like it's literally just like Michigan and it is the best coffee ever. It's so much better than Starbucks. So if you're ever in the Michigan area or like you see a Big B by whatever chance, get coffee. Like you will not be disappointed. They have so many more options than Starbucks. Their coffee is so much better. It's not as bitter as Starbucks. And what if they like that? I'm mean, gonna I guess if you like that, but then you're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Big B's cheaper or it's either like their sizes are bigger for the same price or something like that. I don't I don't really remember now. It's been a while. Um, and they have like a reward point that's free and unlike Starbucks where you have to like use Starbucks money. So like your own money to get rewards. This is just free. So after or like your 12th cup of coffee or coffee from Big B, I think you get it free or like your 11th one or... Maybe it's your sixth one. I don't know. After so many coffees, you get one free. So Big B's boss. Like I love it and I miss it so much. So I'm really excited to drink Big B coffee. It's hot. <laughs> so tonight we are going to the 
Command's Christmas party and I'm so excited because I wanted to go so bad and you have to buy tickets and we thought they were going to be sold out by the time we went and got some and Trey surprised me last night and was like what are you doing tomorrow night and I was like well I don't have to work nothing and he's like well we're going to the Christmas party so I'm so excited because I wanted to go so badly but I don't even know why like I don't have a good reason like I just think it sounds like fun it's probably not going to be you don't think it's a work function a military work function. it's not my work function though so just saying I'll be meeting new people you'll be meeting the people you work with hey guys so we're on our way to the Christmas party and I I mean we're not in a good mood right now <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie like we're both not in a very good mood because we're feeling very stressed we ran out of time again like trying to get ready but I just had a lot to do before I could go to the party and then once again it was one of those things where I didn't like anything that has ever touched my body ever including me and including Trey and so we were just uh, we're getting better though we're feeling better we're getting closer so it sucks because we're like showing up late we're like three minutes late right now but like I think people are gonna get there early so like I don't want to be that couple and that's nerds <laughs> I will vlog a little bit. I just always feel really uncomfortable like vlogging in front of like people who I don't know because then I have to explain like what I'm doing and then like why and I like some people understand like some people know what it is but then I think they think that I'm like some big time famous YouTuber and I have to like explain like no but then like the people who don't get it like it's just beyond their concept of understanding like what I'm doing, which I feel like is probably most of the people that are gonna be there. The women, let's be honest, majority it's women who like understand and like younger women, but um, this isn't really that kind of crowd. So I'll vlog a little bit. It might just be like me showing you things. I might not hold the camera like this because that's when it gets really awkward. Um, if you vlog, then you totally understand. It's just something that you can't really do, I don't know, and feel comfortable about doing it, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that's everything. Bye. Austin. This is Mr. Austin, and we got Mr. Trey rocking it, killing it, ah, bam. And then, uh, me. Yeah, I got you. <sighs> I got you. Vlogs. It's a video blog. Those, Here, Dennis, you gross. take it. Show how cute we are. Yeah, you want me to do an outfit of the night for you? All right, so Mr. Dennis is holding the camera. Bam. That is so good. Okay, so outfit of the night. Um, Dresses from Primark. Wearing my fleece line tights because let's so just. So nice. No, but seriously, have you ever tried fleece line tights? Like, I'm being serious to you right now. How good do those sound? Yeah. Fleece <laughs> line tights. Yeah. For reals. <laughs> my boots are from Target. And then my cute little clutch is from Mary Eagle. Is it upside down? Nope. No. The back looks like it would be upside down. Look at it. Looks like it should be this way. See it? Maybe. It was this way. <laughs> but I saw this and I was like, it's upside down. No. Okay. Do you want do you wanna do you? No, do me. Okay, let's do Trey. I do me. Oh, do you want to do you? No, we do Trey. Okay, we'll do Trey. Trey. All right. Trey songs. Yep, that's me. This? Well, it was all from Bahrain, the gold souk. I don't remember the name, but it's foreign. Came all the way from the uh, the desert. <laughs> yeah. It was only hundred fifty dollars. Do, do a little spin. spin, spin, spin. Yeah, there you go. No, see the, no, <laughs> we just want to see the butt. Oh, okay. Torque it. Uh, sir, how are you doing? <laughs> We're not doing anything weird out here. The are shoes you are from Aldo. Oh, check them out. Can't forget the shoes. No, check it, check on. it. Super uh, Ryan Gosling, that's why I got them. A little bit of drink on there, that's from Kelsey. Hashtag notebook. Yep. <laughs> notebook. Actually, I go more like uh, Crazy Stupid Love. He dresses real nice. Crazy man. Stupid Love. Yeah. Check it. For reals. It. Hashtag. <sighs> Hashtag. Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> hashtag no regrets. Okay, hashtag it's time for Dennis. Hashtag. Hashtag. Oh, hashtag. Hashtag.
Hashtag. She's not liking that hashtag. Say hello. I hate that word. Hashtag. Have y'all ever really sat there and talked using hashtag? Hashtag. One word. Fresh to death. That's that's three words. One word. When you use a hashtag, it's one word. Hashtag. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. What? Babe? <laughs> All right, Pop we're, it fresh, Mary Poppins. let's do your outfit of the night. What are you wearing? Who's yeah, it from? Where's it from? Where is it from? It's basically, a, what was that movie I said earlier? Uh, Notebook? Crazy Stupid Love? No, the one where the guy kills the guys. Oh, Hitman. It's basically Hitman. Back up in the lake. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> I got like 20 bazookas and an N16 and a... a silence. Uh, <laughs> no, but really, where, what are you wearing? Yeah, Where's it real. from? It's from Egypt. Is it really? Yes. Express to death. Express Slowly. To death. Even your shoes? Express to death, he said. It's from uh, Express. Nic Nikolai's Closet. Nick and I'm so confused, but you look good. Okay, so I'm vlogging really quickly. We're leaving the Christmas party, and the last clip you would have saw is probably a little confusing, but basically, we entered, so everyone enters a raffle, and um, we left our tickets at home by accident. We didn't do it on purpose, obviously. And so we were like, oh, that sucks that we left our tickets at home. Well, we were like, well, if they call a number and no one goes up there, well, we'll know it's us, and we can be like, oh, that's us, you know, like, sad, like, uh, whatever, but we were like, no, we're not gonna be called because there was a lot of people there. Well, um, one of your chiefs was it your chief yeah, that got called first? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, one of his chiefs got called and was like, here, you you take it, go up there and win the prize. And so oh, that, was, that was an officer. Officer. And so he was. So we he go, Trey goes up there and takes the prize of whatever it was. Yeah, to the right. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> And it was a Visa gift card, and we called the number to see how much we won because it could either be $25 to $500, and we won $100 with it. So then they call, so that's cool and everything. And we're like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like, he gave us $100, we won, basically. And then they call a number, and me and Trey were like, oh, like, what if we won? That'd be so cool. They call, call up this long number. And, me, and no one goes up there and me and Trey are like, oh, what if that was us? What if that was our raffle ticket? Like, no, that's not us. And then they're like, Hornburgers, we're, it's Hornburgers. And me and Trey freak out and we want a 50 inch TV. Like we literally just won the best prize that there was. We won like the, the greatest prize. A 50 inch TV, it's back there. Can you see it? Oh my gosh. So awesome that we won this 50. We, we never win anything. Like I am so pumped right now. We were literally so excited. We were like dancing. Like we never win anything ever. ever. I've never won anything. This is gonna be one of those moments when people are like, oh, I never won anything. And I'll be like, oh, I've won something. I won a 50 inch TV. And Boom. $100. And a hundred dollars. Boom. So excited. Yeah. I just don't think people will ever understand how excited I am right now. <laughs> I've never won anything. My legs were literally shaking. My heart was racing. Like, oh. You ran. You like ran up there to grab did. it. I was, like, I was like trying to get my vlog camera out, but I got it out kind of a little bit late. Oh, no, I can get those out. So, okay. Ending the vlog for tonight. Um, sorry if it's like kind of confusing and maybe annoying to some people, but I'm just so excited. This stuff never happens to me. So this is it and we're having such a great night now. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I've lost my voice a little bit because I've been yelling because I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, bye.